Hello, it's John. Welcome to London. All right, mates. So today we're looking at four London accents and whether you should age drop or not. So the London accents we're focusing on are Cockney, SSBE, Estuary English and MLE. So each accent will have a mini tutorial and I'm going to say the same target sentence in each tutorial so that you can hear how the H drop is used or not in each accent. But first, here's something for you. What am I saying here? Hurry up, Harry, we're going to Ibury. Hurry up, Harry, we're going to Ibury. Tough one, that. I'll tell you at the end of the video what I actually say. So I've got quite a neutral southeast of England accent, so I'll say it in my normal voice. So here's the example sentence now. Oh, hurry up, because I'm going to Hammersmith, Hounslow, Hampstead Heath, Harrow, then Highbury today, aren't I? Now, if you're not familiar, there's a tendency for some Londoners to drop the H sound either at the beginning of a word, so as a front initial sound, for example, Harry becomes Arry, or at the start of a mid syllable, for example, behind becomes behind. So first up, we have the Cockney accent. So we're going to focus on the example sentence. So I'll read it, and this time we're going to drop all the H's in the sentence. Oi, hurry up, Harry, because today I'm going to Ammersmith, Hounslow, Amsterd Heath, Arrow, then Ibury, ain't I? Next we have SSBE, or Standard Southern British English. Now this is a sort of middle class accent, if you like, and you need to sort of ramp up the poshness a bit. And most importantly, you have to say all of the H's, all right? So here we go with the example sentence again for this accent. Oh, hurry up, because today I'm going to Hammersmith, Hounslow, Hampstead Heath, Harrow, then Highbury, aren't I? So next we have the estuary accent, which is a sort of combination of the sounds of Cockney and SSBE. Now, it's a tough one to pin down, so I would say what we're going to do here is a sort of combination of dropping H's and sounding the H's, all right? Because quite often in the estuary accent, it is actually the speaker's choice as to which H's they drop or not, okay? I'll hurry up, because today we're going to Hammersmith, Hounslow, Amsterd Heath, Harrow, then Highbury, aren't I? So finally, we have the MLE, or Multicultural London English accent. Now, with MLE, a person can H drop or not, depending on the speaker's background and influences, but I like to keep the H in when I'm doing MLE. Oi, hurry up, because today I'm going to Hammersmith, Hounslow, Hampstead Heath, Harrow, then Highbury, in it. And on a final note, here's a tricky line to do H dropping and H insertion from the musical My Fair Lady. Here's one to practice. In Hartford, Ereford, and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly ever happen. I think I said that correctly. Did you notice I inserted an H with Heather from ever, 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 yeah, get it? So actually, sometimes you can do the reverse. You can actually insert H's where they're not meant to be. How about that? And on that note, I think it's a good time to go. Thanks very much. I hope you like the tutorial. Remember, comment below if you tell me which accent resonates with you. And do you H drop, of course. I'd love to know. So, on the final note, ah, by the way, the line at the beginning. So, I said, hurry up, Harry, we're going to Ibury, is hurry up, Harry, we are going to Highbury. Did you guess that? That is actually part of a famous song, and it goes something like this. Oi, hurry up, Harry. We're going down the pub. Take care. See you later. Bye. And stay connected now.